With the inaugural running of the $2 million Eureka just two months away, the Jared Orchard trained my ultimate Ronnie will commence his date with destiny at Club Angle on Saturday night. I caught up with Jared to discuss his prospects as far as the 2300 metre assignment is concerned and also the way Jared's going to handle his preparation between now and possible stardom. Well, Jared, the pathway to stardom, Eureka stardom, commences on Saturday night with the exciting My Ultimate Ronnie. 2,300 metres first up, the reason behind that? Yeah, yeah, we just um, thought we'd go into that um, just to get a good tough run under his belt before we go into the Rising Sun the following week. Two very pleasing trials. Yeah, no, he was good. He just does what he has to in front. Um, that second one, he just flops along. Typical better's delight. He doesn't go until you really stoke him up. So um, his work since has been good. So, yeah, no, he, he'll, he'll race well. Jared, how do you plan, which now will be very meticulous, my ultimate Ronnie's pathway to the Eureka? Um, yeah, we'll just um, race this Saturday and then we'll go into the Rising Sun and then um, we'll just play it by year after that. Um, there's another race in Queensland if we opt that direction and then he'll come back and he'll spend a little bit of time on the water walker and um, he won't lose much fitness and then we'll sort of ramp him up and hopefully a couple of runs and into the Eureka. So they night, Jared, apart from being first up over 2300 metres, has drawn a touch wide and he's also up against Spirit of St Louis. Yeah, he trialled against Spirit of St Louis here, his first trial and they trialled well together so um, yeah, he's a good, great horse and um, I'm... Uh, like, I know he'll go good, Ronnie, but um, we're not out there to, um, you know, have a tough run this week. We just want to look after him and get through this week. And um, the main aim for this short prep will be the Rising Sun the following week. You had an exciting team in on Saturday night. Jared, over to the, uh, also in that first event, Romney, very consistent, nicely drawn, but up in grade. Yeah, he's up in grade. Uh, the 2300 really suits him. That's why we opted for that. Um, but yeah, like if they go hard, um, they'll know he's there. He sort of probably just lacks a little bit of high speed, but if they go hard, they'll know he's there. He'll, he'll be storming home. Very strong three-pronged attack in race two. Uh, Jared headed by Tegan Banner, nicely drawn in gate one from Jason Grimson Stable. The ultimate professional, my ultimate Chevron and Delightful Angel coming off two very powerful performances. Yeah, no, it's, um, they're all racing well, them three horses. Delightful Angel's probably the better of the three, but she's drawn bad. But I think she really benefit from the first up, or the second up run, sorry. Um, last week, she um, she just got a little bit tired late. I think it was a bit my fault. I was a little bit easy on her after they went 49 a couple of weeks before. And um, she's a little fat thing. So I think you'll um, see a really sharp mare this week. Although she's drawn bad, if there's speed on, she'll be storming home. Um, she's probably the best hope of the three. Just on my ultimate Chevron, Jared, from his past 13 starts, six wins, six placings, five as runner-up. The only unplaced one was a fourth back in November. He just loves to be in the finish. Yeah, well, he, I was only looking his form up last night. He hasn't missed a check since the Queensland Derby. He raced in the Queensland Derby last year, and it was a little bit strong for him, and he finished down the back. But I think that trip away really strengthened him up, and he's just been a different horse since. Paris K goes around in race seven, coming off a very respectable third behind the best bourbon last week. Yeah, I think she's a little unlucky. She probably should have finished a bit closer. So, um, tough race, but if they go hard, they'll know she's there. She's ultra consistent, so she just needs a little luck. Over the last, the trot, and usually the final race on the card is probably the lesser of the races, but on Saturday night, two exciting ties from your stable, Doth the Cap and Hurricane Hill. Yeah, I've got a lot of time for the both of them. Um, they're both really nice horses um, and they get into it pretty good with only a 10 metre handicap so as long as they both step um, they're going to be right thereabouts and the old boy regular tyre well he's ultra consistent as well but he's got a 30 metre handicap to deal with so he'll just need a lot of luck but um, he's probably not quite in the grade of the other two either. Both Doth the Cap and Hurricane Hill the former Kiwi love the stand and they have been trialling well. Yeah they both tried really well. Um, they're not screwed down yet, they're both a bit soft and a bit fat, so um, we'll give them a couple of runs here and decide whether we take them to Queensland for the Group 1 or whether we just stay here and small fish are sweet and sort of target the Inter Dominion at the end of the year. We'll just make a call in a couple of weeks. You will be having another member going to uh, Queensland, Albizia, the winner of the second event here today. Yeah, she'll go up now to the Great Square, um, or as she gets a run, but... Um, yeah, I think she's a really progressive mare. It's probably 
come up a little bit soon for her. She's probably not quite up to the RC Phoenixes and the Courage Strides and um, David Miles, the source, uh, rocking with attitude. But um, like, if she has a little bit of luck, like she can earn money. And it's not every day of the week that them mares can go around for 150,000. So if she can get a start in the race, I think they'll know she's there. Jav, you've built up a very strong team around you now, 30 plus horses. It appears on paper to be probably the most exciting group of horses you've had. Yeah, we've got a terrific group of group of horses with us at the moment and a terrific owner base, um, Tumby, headed by Tumby Park, you know, they're um, always putting nice horses in the stable and uh, Mick Boots has been a huge supporter of mine lately and um, without those guys, you know, it's, uh, it's very tough. Um, so, yeah, we've just got a terrific team of horse at the moment. You're about to receive a couple of new additions which you're excited about but playing your cards very close to your chest at the moment. Oh yeah we, we've just purchased a couple more from New Zealand and um, they'll come over in the next couple of weeks and we've also just had a couple of others turn up so yeah no we, um, we've got a really nice team at the moment so um, and we've got a heap of nice babies so hopefully with a good mix of babies and racehorses next couple of seasons could be really good for us. How many horses do you have? Uh, we've got around the 30 mark, so give or take, you know, some it, it fluctuates a bit, but around the 25 to 30 and then down to 20 a bit. But, yeah, you know, like the 25 is good, but I can't see us getting down that low very often. Jerry, you've lost an important member of your team and Sophia Ardvidsson, who now has a pretty strong team of her own, but that's all about the change because you've acquired a very talented Victorian. Yeah, um, Daniel McCormick, he's come up from Victoria and he's been giving us a hand lately and um, yeah, he's a good young kid and he's bought a couple of his own so he's just working them and helps us out um, when we need it and uh, yeah, he's a good young kid and hopefully he can get a couple of his own, more of his own to train and can kick him along a bit. I think he just needed a change and he likes the lifestyle here so yeah, it's good for him. There'll be no shortage of work with all those horses in work. <laughs> no, that's right, exactly. What's the best of them for Saturday night? Um, probably one of the trotters. Um, I'm pretty excited about both them. Um, I'm not sure which one. I like them both. They, um, but yeah, they're probably the best. And I just want to see Ronnie get through unscathed. And you know, if he can go around, and I know whatever he does this week, he'll improve 100 yards off for next week. So yeah, it's just exciting to have a good team in on Saturday night. The old system comes into play, Jared. Back one save on the other. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So yeah, never know. Thanks for your time, Jared, and good luck. Yep, good to go. Thank you.